we are now looking at ternary ionic compounds. These are ionic compounds that contain at least one polyatomic ion. This is a incomplete list of polyatomic ions, <clears throat> but includes the complete list of what we need to memorize for our ions. So the left two columns we need to memorize. Now the right column we do not have to memorize. There's um, probably two rules that help us with memorizing uh, the names of the ions, but uh, there's a lot here that we just have to memorize. We have uh, one positive ion, one cation, the ammonium ion. This is based on ammonia, ammonia NH3. We add an H plus onto it, we get the ammonium ion, NH4 plus. All the other ions are negative ions, anions. So there's a series here. Um, the eights I take as being the, the base or the starting unit. Um, so chlor eight ClO3 with minus one charge. Uh, one of the rules that we have is from the eight, the eight has one less oxygen, same charge but one less oxygen. So chlor eight is ClO3 with negative one charge. So chlor eight is ClO2 with negative one charge. And we see that over here, nitrate NO3 with negative one charge, nitrite NO2 with a negative one charge. The halogens, uh, including chlorine and uh, the other halogens, they have this extended series. So from chloride, we can take off another oxygen with hypochlorite, CLO with a negative one charge. And hypo means low. So hypoglycemia, low blood sugar. From the core eight, we can go the opposite direction. We can add on one more oxygen, ClO4 minus, and that's per chlorine. And the per means fully. So we have fully oxygenated this at this point. Another ion per manganate, MnO4 minus. Acetate is a organic ion. Uh, it's based on um, acetic acid. Uh, acetic acid is when there's an H plus here instead of a negative charge, uh, H instead of a negative charge. Um, so this is based on organic rules uh, and uh, isn't following the rules of the uh, inorganic ions that we have here. Sulfate, SO4, with a two negative charge. Uh, so on the H, there's no particular rules. So we have three oxygens, negative one, three oxygens, negative one, four oxygens, negative two. Uh, for phosphate, four oxygens, negative three. So there's no rule on figuring out how many oxygens and charges. You just have to memorize them. But from the sulfate, we know that if we subtract one oxygen, we get our sulfite. Phosphate, PO4, three negative charge. Hydroxide, OH minus. Cyanide, CN minus. Nitrate, NO3 minus. So we subtract one oxygen, we get nitrate, NO2 minus. Carbonate, CO3, two minus. And then when we have a negative two or negative three, we can add on hydrogens. When we're adding on hydrogen, hydrogens, we're adding them on as an H plus. So we add on a hydrogen here, we reduce the charge by one. And there's two names that we can use here, hydrogen carbonate or bicarbonate. So bi means hydrogen for these ions. So the ones that we do not have to memorize, chromate, CrO4 with a two negative charge, dichromate, Cr2O7 with a two negative charge, per oxide, O2 with a two negative charge. And then the hydrogen forms of sulfate, sulfite. So 
take sulfate, add a hydrogen onto it, we get hydrogen sulfate, HSO4 minus, also called bisulfite. Um, take our sulfite, add hydrogen, we get HSO4, HSO3 minus hydrogen sulfite or bisulfite. For phosphate, we can add on two hydrogens and still have a polyatomic ion. So adding on one, we get HPO4 with a two negative charge. That's hydrogen phosphate. Add on a second one, we get H2PO4 minus. That's dihydrogen phosphate. And see that we have not taken these hydrogen ones down to neutral. Uh, when we do that, they're no longer polyatomic ion and they have a different uh, naming category based on being an acid. So let's practice using these polyatomic ions in our ternary ionic compounds. So let's write some uh, formulas from the names. Calcium phosphate. Calcium is column two, has a two plus charge. Phosphate, you have to memorize PO4, three minus. So this charge on the Phosphate three, we're going to bring that down on the calcium without a sign, CA3. This charge on the calcium, two plus, we're going to bring down the phosphate. But to do that, we don't want to just stick it next to the four because that looks like 42. So we put a parenthesis around it and then we do our two. And there's no common factor between three and two, so this is the correct formula, CA3, parenthesis, PO4, close parenthesis, two. Calcium acetate, so CA2 plus acetate, C2H3O2 minus. That minus one, we bring the one down on calcium. We don't have to write it. The two plus, we bring it down onto the acetate. To do that, we put our parenthesis and then the subscript two. Ammonium phosphate, ammonium, our only cationic uh, polyatomic ion, NH4 plus. Phosphate, our PO4 three minus. So that three we bring down onto the ammonium. We do that with a parenthesis. And then the three, ammonium had a one. We don't have to write one, so we don't need a parenthesis. So NH4, three, PO4 was, is our ammonium phosphate. Sulfite ion, uh, we have to memorize. I usually recommend memorizing the eights. Sulfate is SO4. We take one oxygen off, make it SO3, and we get our sulfite. Iron 3 carbonate. So iron 3 tells us that the iron has a 3 plus charge. Carbonate is a CO3 2 minus. So that Two minus on the CO3 is going to come down on the iron. The three for the iron is going to come down on the CO3. So we don't need a parenthesis on the iron, but we're going to need a parenthesis on the CO3. So Fe2 parenthesis CO3 close parenthesis three. Let's go the other direction, take a formula and turn it into a name. So CO we know is cobalt. CO3 is carbonate. I left room because cobalt is a transition metal. We have to identify the charge. 
So we're going to do the reverse process of bringing the charge down to the subscripts. We're going to take our subscripts, take them up to the charge. So we have a subscript one on the cobalt. The CO3, we've got to recognize that as a big polyatomic ion. So our parenthesis around it. That three is not the subscript on the polyatomic ion. That's part of the polyatomic ion. So there really is this uh, subscript one there. So this implies that we have a CO plus CO3 negative one. We check the anion number and it should be a negative two. So we need to multiply by two. We get our negative two, a positive two. So we have a cobalt two carbonate. Our next one, NH4, is ammonium. NO3 is nitrate. And that's all that we need on this one. Next one, NaHCO3. Na is sodium. And we can name this two different ways. We can do hydrogen carbonate. So CO3 is carbonate, hydrogen in front of it is hydrogen carbonate, or we can take the shorter name, the more common name, bicarbonate. A couple more here. SR strontium. CN is cyanide. And the last on the list here, CR is chromium. CLO3 is chlorate. And chromium is a transition metal. So we're going to need a Roman numeral in there to complete this. So we bring this three up on the chromium. So we have a CR3 plus. We got a one on the chromium. We bring up on the chlorate, ClO3 minus. We check the negative ion. And chlorate should be a negative one. So that is correct. That means that three on the chromium is correct. We have a chromium three. Chlorate. 